Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope this week. So if you find any tarot messages that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Sagittarius, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do. This is, that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Sagittarius. As well, I would like to ask if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius. I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way, uh, Sachi. Uh, as well, before we get into this uh, reading today, I want to remind you to use your intuition, Sagittarius, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Very interesting how this is coming up, uh, Saji. So, uh, something I want to put out as well is that, don't mind me, I'm taking notes to bring up later in y'all's reading, uh, is that this reading here is just for food for thoughts, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life, Saji. So let's now just get into your weekly tarot horoscope, uh, because really interesting how this reading is starting out for you guys. So uh we have the two of water coming in this is your extra card uh this is the two of cups but i feel like this signifies just like a close situation to you this week that the spirit really wants to hone the message in on this two of water the two of cups just talks about uh, the positive resolution to a out conflict i'll read off the card itself but i'll tell you the message itself that i feel like it's for you <clears throat> excuse me so this card says a relationship continues to grow closer, uh, forgiveness, the positive resolution to a conflict. So I feel like, again, yeah, this is the emphasis of what spirit wants to address. There's some type of situation that's intimate to you right now, whether it's a person or like a relationship, whether it's just like a job, it's some type of intimate situation to you that you hold very, that you're very, um, emotionally invested into, we'll say. Sagittarius. And so let's see what details we can get about this before we get into your actual tarot cards. It's just interesting because I've never had this happen. Well, in this type of dynamic of this reading, I've never had a spread come out in this way. So we have coming in the Four of Cups with the Six of Swords, as well as the Seven of Swords in the reverse for you in this situation for the Two of Cups, Sagittarius. So I am getting for y'all. <sighs> you guys, Sagittarius, are not seeing the signs. It's almost as if I'm gonna be honest, Sagittarius. It's almost as if like someone is like punching you in the face and you are not acknowledging that they're punching you in the face. Someone's spitting at you, and someone is just being disrespectful to you. And instead of taking this as a sign, Sagittarius, of you moving away from the situation, I see this as a place of where you are kind of just ignoring it. It's like you're ignoring some type of red flag in a situation because you don't want to put your, you don't want to distance yourself. You don't want to let go of something. Now, Sagittarius, I'm going to be honest with you here. I'm going to have to just give you my, you know, from friend to friend, right? Um, when I see this, and especially with your the readings that I've been honing in on for my Sagittarius is for weeks now. You guys have been having this long struggle with trying to bring something along into your life and into your future. That just isn't meant for you, Sagittarius, truly. But you don't want to accept it. You want to just really try to the best of your ability to just be like, oh no, like let me just give this one more chance. Let me just like make it work, right? For some of you Sagittarius, it seems as if you've made it your personal uh, mission to just have some type of thing be part of your story for a while, right? You're just so insistent on the, something just staying. And so it's like, no matter what spirit does and trying to like put distance between you and this situation, you keep on clinging onto it. You keep on ignoring those red flags because you're so intimately involved in the situation, Sagittarius. So I mean, honey, starting out aggressive, aren't we, huh? 
uh, this is the situation. We'll see how it pans out for the rest of these messages, right? Maybe it'll be related. Maybe it won't be. I'm going to just be now speaking though, just as a heads up for just relaying the rest of these messages. We're going to act as if like this is a completely different energy now. Sagittarius. So that's how I'm going to be speaking it. But if it's related, you'll know because it's your life, right? So we have the seven of earth or the seven of pentacles coming in for you. Did I even show y'all your extra cards? I didn't. Um, so yeah, we have the seven of earth or seven of pentacles. Uh, I think I have my camera. I'm a mess for y'all's reading Sagittarius. I feel like it's always y'all's reading that I'm a train wreck for. But I also feel like I say that for all the readings. So maybe I'm just actually a train wreck. <laughs> it's not my reading. Uh, King of Water or King of Cups for you, Saji. Uh, King of Air or King of Swords for you as well. Ten of Air or Ten of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Earth that I talked about, the Seven of Pentacles. So in this situation here, you're trying to be a bigger person, Sagittarius, but something's just weighing heavy on you, right? You're trying to be more, I see you trying to be more vulnerable. I see there trying to be communication, in, but it's almost just like with this vulnerability in the situation that's brought you pain before, it's almost just like now you had like these seeds of anxiety. Maybe it's unrelated, maybe it's like from this a painful past situation, now in your present, dealing with a new situation that has you kind of in your mind where it's just like, oh, am I going to fail like it happened like two years ago, right? If I get on this horse, am I going to fall off it like what happened to me as a child, right? It's giving me very that energy just from looking at it. But let's see how uh, this is trying to be panned out. I feel like right here... Right here, right here, right here. So we're going to start out for you, Sagittarius, with the Ten of Air. Don't mind me getting these cards all mixed up. So yeah, we're going to start with your Ten of Air or your Ten of Swords, Sagittarius. This card says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Uh, recovering from an addiction. So for some of you Sagittariuses, I just do feel like... I feel like a phase or a situation is just ending for you, Sagittarius, but I can't help but feel like it's not even like bittersweet feelings for you. I feel as if like there's fear attached into this situation for you and you're not happy that it's ending in this way or that you maybe you're not even aware that this is supposed to be where this is where the ending is supposed to be. Um, wow, you have... A lot of cards. Y'all's reading is just going to be very... I think I'm even going to title y'all's video this way. It's just where it's interesting and what's coming out. So uh, let's see here. So let's see. How are we going to put this? Get these cards situated. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see. Don't mind me, Sagittarius. We have like six extra clarifiers for you, and I normally do only do three. It's like a whole deck in here, honey, just to give you an idea for this Ten of Air, this Ten of Swords. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, again for you, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So, honey, honestly, the Sagittarius that make it through this reading, I know y'all are my ride or dies or my homies because this is going to be a rough reading uh, for you guys, for those that are not ready for these messages. I always, I'm only saying this in, the, in love, though, right? No judgment. I'm trying to just help you guys out. But in this situation here, Sagittarius, I feel as if by you guys clinging on to some type of old situation that's trying to end, right? Because you don't like something ending. You know, it's almost as if you're not aware that there's a situation trying to be end that's trying you're that's ending. Um and you're not aware that it actually was a good thing for you. I, feel, I can't help but feel like you're not identifying the situation as something that like weighs heavy on you. Like I don't see you seeing like with this Ten of Wands, I don't think you see this as like a thing. I think you kind of see this as like just part of your life and just something that should be part of it. And I feel like with now that it's closing off, you're just like, no, wait a minute, no, like no. But so really I would say Sagittarius is some type of blessing in disguise for you that you're just not seeing yet quite honestly, right? Because with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, this lets me know of a situation where it's like you kind of cringe at the thought of having to do something new. Not 
having to have a change of pace in some avenue in your life, right? You really are craving some sort of stability, right? With the queen and king of pentacles. So this could be about a person as well. Counterpart energy, of course, here, right? Whether it's like, I'm, I don't want to say like it could be like a relationship thing. I mean, obviously it could, but it's more so just like lets me know of like a there's definitely another energy involved. It's not talking about you guys like moving on from an addiction or something like that. It really means like some type of decision that you have to make a choice on, right? And we get into this in a moment. Um, and it's just like you just really identify this as being something that needs to be part of it. And then just, I don't know. I just keep feeling Sagittarius like you're trying to include something that just shouldn't be part of your storyline anymore, <laughs> truthfully. But you don't, you almost cringe at the idea of having to think about your future without, without that portion of, uh, of your past being part of your future, if that makes sense, right? With the Ace of Swords, you're being asked to open your mind up more to possibilities, being more flexible um, and considering new avenues, considering new storylines, considering new plot lines for you. We have the King of Water coming in for you or the King of Cups, Saji. This card says, opening your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work. Now, what I want to point out is the opening your heart to and mind to those around you. Um, this is really kind of honing in the message where I was just saying, where it's just like considering the possibilities of other things, right? With this Ace of Swords, you know, consider other people if you're trying to transition away from like an old situation consider um yeah i just feel like you need to keep more of an open mind with something sagittarius because part of part i feel as if like part of your decision making is because you're having a closed mind on certain things if that makes sense so let's see here yeah, because there's just like this resistance of walking away. It seems to be the constant message. The card clarifiers I have. King of what for you, King of Cups. Three of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And this Eight of Cups in the reverse. So even though, Sagittarius, even though you identified this Five of Pentacles, this doesn't make you feel good. You feel anxious. You feel, you know, this is the card of feeling left out in the cold right? And every tarot reader will say that. Uh, you don't feel like you belong in the situation, I feel, right? And even if you can even look at the situation itself and be like, eh, it's not directly hurting me, right? They're not intentionally trying to hurt my feelings. They're not intentionally trying to bring more stress into my life, right? Even though it's not intentional, right? Is it really self serve Like, is it really helping you in your life and adding any actual value into your life, any stability, any type of emotional fulfillment in your life, right? You, this eight of cups here, like you guys are just trying to like stay in your comfort zone. I feel like Sagittarius or something. And it's just like, it's going to be like seemingly like my life mission apparently to get you guys out of this comfort zone, Sagittarius, and finally allowing for you guys to just release something that just like you yourself can acknowledge you don't even feel like you quite belong in this situation like it doesn't feel like even you acknowledge on some level that it's not like there's some type of a rift here so then we have the king of air or the king of swords here what's going on with this this card says speak your mind with confidence seeking out uh professional advice and balancing out mental and emotional considerations this is the part i don't feel like you're considering it's like you're not considering the mental part and the mental taxing that it has for you even though the situation itself you can be like oh yeah this looks like a pretty good situation better situation than what i used to deal with right um i feel as if like the, yeah clarifiers wheel of fortune i feel as if like you're not seeing like the wheels of fortune turning in your favor or something because it's trying to have you let go of something and changing your perspective with the two of wands and the hanged man in the reverse yeah this just seems to be like you guys have sagittarius such a vision for how you want your life to be and the details of of that life and how what who all is going to be involved in it and because of you being so stern in this vision, it's almost as if like you start limiting your. Oh, ooh, honey, that hurt. I forgot I had my eyebrow pierced for a moment. 
Ooh, that hurt, honey. You know what, Sagittarius? I'll keep that in. So you, some of y'all that have been, like, probably want to, like, <laughs> be, like, push me around, especially with how aggressive I've been in y'all's reading. Uh, so maybe that's me. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's with this firmness that makes it very hard for these the Wheel of Fortune to be turning in your favor because of the strictness. I feel like the best thing you can do at this time, Sagittarius, is be more flexible in what it is that you're doing. Ooh, honey, that was hurt. That was like the most painful experience that I've had with this piercing so far. Ooh, <laughs> it's probably definitely gonna be swollen after this. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Earth for you. This is things anxiety card. This says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, and unnecessary worry. Now what deck are we gonna use for this? I'm gonna use this one. Let's see what detail we can get about, about this anxiety. Um, even though I kind of already have a good idea of it, to be honest. Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, as well as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, Sagittarius, do you feel like you wouldn't be able to do this on your own? Right? Is that, that's what your unnecessary worry is? That's what Spirit's saying is unnecessary? You don't want to walk away from a situation that weighs heavy on you because you don't think you could take care of yourself? Right? With that Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, this is very much so, quite literally saying that you don't think you can handle a situation, honey. Right? You don't think that if you were to break out on your own with something, with this Knight of Wands, you don't think you could handle it. Right? You feel as if, like, the moment you walk out on your own, dip your toes in the water, you start hearing Jaws music, right? That something's out to get you. And I know it sounds dismissive of your feelings, right? But I just want to point out again, it's an unnecessary worry right showing to me that you would be able to take care of yourself spirit has your back uh sagittarius and i feel as if like some of you guys only feel this way because you may not have like an intimate or a close connection with your spirit guys and ancestors and all that um, because if you were if you did you would realize just how much is like looking out and trying to walk with you trying to give you this reassurance sagittarius really spirits really just asking for you to just let go of a situation that you yourself acknowledge isn't good for you right but you're clinging on to it just because you're just like oh no you wouldn't be able to find anything better which just isn't the case sagittarius it just isn't the case learn to let go <laughs> really but um, yeah, now we got, we went through all that, honey. Now let's get into my Sagittarius's that are interested in hearing about their love and social life, as well as their financial situation. So we're going to be getting into my Sagittarius's love and social situation first and foremost. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so we have the Justice card with the Lovers card, the Six of Air. And the Eight of Pentacles, or the Eight of Earth. Mm. So Sagittarius says, you guys are kind of getting some insight on like learning what it is you actually want out of a connection. And it can, I can't help but feel like through you realizing more what it is you want from a connection, you kind of have to, it's through that realization you want to put distance between yourself and like let go of some situations that you currently have in your life because they're not meeting the standards that you now learned that you want for yourself, right? You're learning to ask for more. And so now you're being put in this place of being like stuck between a hard place and a rock, right? Or whatever, the, however that saying goes. And so I would say Sagittarius, like just because, you know, you had cars saying to speak your truth before and your truth and how you want to be taken care of and how you want to be respected is no different, right? And just because, you know, we're constantly growing and you know some people just may not be in alignment with you anymore in such a way it doesn't make them a bad person doesn't make you a bad person so it just means that you guys are going your own separate ways and what it is you're searching for out of a friendship or out of a relationship they may not just be able to provide to you right and that's okay so take that as you will now i'm going to be doing some tarot cards to see what is going on for my sagittarius's and their financial situation right now see what's going on there good cards though so for Sagittarius's financial and overall career money situation we have the renewal card 
the Page of Fire, as well as the Two of Fire, or the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. So you have two cards, fresh starts, so really looking good in terms of new money coming in for you guys. It does, you keep on, these cards also talk about moving into a new direction, right? Renewal card says review and evaluate a favorable assessments of the facts and time to move into a new direction, Sagittarius. Uh, the Two of Fire says you come into your own, new partnerships and contracts, continue moving forward, right? All about that movement. And Page of Fire, I always say is my fresh car start card, uh, or the Page of Wands is the same thing though. New ex news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. So it all puts it on you, Sagittarius, notice, like the cards you got of where it's just like you are ready to embrace a new path, you are ready to do something new. Um, it's funny how all these cards kind of like align with one another like continue the storyline that we've been getting but uh yeah really good cards overall Sagittarius really good sign of the things coming to you <laughs> yeah really the theme of y'all's reading has just been interesting and just throughout it it has been consistent so um yeah I really feel like I connected with y'all this week but um yeah that's the reading that I have for you this week Sagittarius if you enjoyed this tarot reading let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and how they did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe Sagittarius and also I do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs not just Sagittarius so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not send them one of my weekly horoscope videos for their zodiac sign and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them but until next time Sagittarius I love you so much Bye.